flag of the United States of America. Yes, Mayor. Board of Commissioners public meeting Tuesday, November 1st, 2016. The time is 7.54. Pursu pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in the December 24, 2015 issues of the Nutley Sun, the Star Ledger, and the Herald News. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board, and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Rogers. Commissioner Tucci? Here. Commissioner Evans? Here. Commissioner Petraco is absent and excused. Mayor Scarpelli? Here. All present, Mayor, except for Commissioner Petraco. He is absent and excused this evening. Right to the minutes. Yes, Mayor. We have regular meeting minutes for September. I'm sorry, these are executive session minutes for September 6, 2016, September 20th, 2016. Uh, first session, September 20th, 2016, second session, and October 4th, 2016. I need a motion. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. You just uh, need to abstain. Okay, abstain. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye, except for the 4th of October. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. I'm sorry, Mayor Scarpelli. And then we have regular Board of Commissioner meeting minutes for September 20th, 2016, and October 4th, 2016. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Abstain, October 4th. Thank you. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. I agree. I abstain for the 4th. And Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. And that's it for minutes. Correspondence in the back. Uh, we're going to go a little out of order. We have some guests here tonight. Um, first, we're going to do a proclamation for one of our Eagle Scouts in town. And second, I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Tucci for honoring the U 12 baseball team. So, this is a uh, proclamation to honor uh, Zachary Sebeck. He is an Eagle Scout, and I'm going to read the proclamation. Congratulations, young man. Whereas Zachary Robert Sebeck is a member of the Boy Scouts of America Troop 22, sponsored by St. Thomas the Apostle in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Whereas Zachary is the son of Christian and Beth and brother of Eric, who reside in Nutley, New Jersey. And whereas Zachary has dedicated many years with the Boy Scouts of America, during this time worked tirelessly to achieve 23 merit badges. Whereas Zachary organized a music concert at Grace Church in Nutley benefiting local senior citizens for his Eagle Scout project. And where as a result, Zachary's hard work, dedication, he achieved the level of Eagle Scout and will be honored during an Eagle Court of Honor ceremony on November 6, 2016. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, <coughs> Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that Zachary Robert Sebeck be commended and recognized for earning the level of Eagle Scout with the Boy Scouts of America and for providing the Township of Nutley a sense of true pride. Zachary, congratulations. Zachary, before uh, we take a picture with you, I'm just going to start with Commissioner Evans and just offer his congratulations. Uh, Zachary, congratulations. Um, I, I've, I've said this before. Um, Eagle is a differentiating achievement uh, in your young career because it's about leadership, right? So uh, you have done work that actually puts you on a path uh, that I think will serve you well 
uh, as you uh, enter into adulthood. I encourage you to uh, talk to your brethren and encourage them to follow the same path. You know, the world we're in is a crazy world. There's a lot of things going on, shifting technology, shifting, shifting beliefs. Um, but people who actually have the ability to say, I want to stand up and I want to be different. I want to stand up and I want to be counted. And I want to stand up and I want to lead should do so. So I congratulate you on that. My son is an Eagle Scout. Uh, I think the concert was a great idea. He had to clean up River Road along the Nutley border, so I think you, you lucked out on that one uh, to, to a degree. Uh, but I encourage you to actually be a role model for others. So congratulations, it's a great honor. Mr. Tucci. Yes. Zachary, I am by no means an expert on what it takes to become an Eagle Scout. But I do know this. I know you're part of a very select and special group that understands what hard work is and what dedication is. And you are definitely a testament to, the, to your generation and to your parents and to all of us here. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. Mr. Rogers. Hello, Zach. How you doing? Zach, you and I have talked a lot, and uh, I must tell you that um, the one thing you did that was really impressive, not only to me, but to my mother. Now, my mother said to never, ever again mention her age anywhere. Of course, she's way up there. But I took her to one of the concerts that you conducted at Grace Church. She doesn't get out that much, but it was an opportunity, I thought, for, you know, to get her out. And she didn't want to leave the music. What, what you and that group did, the impact you had on her life, and I'm sure on the lives of many seniors that uh, you have uh, been able to perform in front of, had everlasting impact. So the work you, you've done as a student here in Nutley and part of the greatest music program in the country, let alone the state of New Jersey, and what you've done as an Eagle Scout, I just pray and hope and I believe that you will carry that dedication and commitment the rest of your life. So on behalf of my mom and me, thank you very much. Job well done. Zachary, uh, you've, you've, uh, you've, been, you've made us proud here as a township and the Board of Commissioners. You've made yourself proud, your family proud, your troop proud. And uh, it's a great accomplishment to become an Eagle Scout. And from the bottom of my heart, I congratulate you. And I know you're going to go on and do great things as you grow and become a, a young man. So thank you. Come on up for a picture. Okay. Okay. Help you get one? Mr. Tucci. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Speaking of select and special groups, uh, once again this evening we have the pleasure 
of saluting some of our youngest and some of our finest citizens in this township, and it gives me great pleasure and it's a great honor to read this resolution. Whereas the 12U Nutley East Little League baseball team has enjoyed an outstanding season winning the District 8 championship, and whereas the members of the 12U Nutley East League baseball team are Evan Cerrone, Chris Cugliari, Roger DeTurley, Cooper Fojas, Matthew Harbison, Christopher Lamon, Max Malanga, Nick Paluca, Alex Sanchez, Joe Senator, Jonathan Velez, and Ben Weeben. Webin, I was close, okay. And whereas manager Chris Lamont, along with assistant coaches Greg Latino and Wayne Umbach, work tirelessly to train and guide these athletes, and whereas the member of the 12U Nutley East Little Baseball team are the District 8 champions, now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, join with the citizens of Nutley to honor and congratulate the members and coaches of the 12U East League baseball team for their, their exceptional efforts and accomplishments. I very proudly move this resolution. Thank you. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Commissioner? Hey guys, congratulations. Uh, if um, I was coordinated enough to play baseball, I would probably be among you, but given my past experience, probably wouldn't be a good idea. Congratulations. Again, uh, being as a team, working together to achieve a result, wonderful. Uh, you do it, I wish you much, much, much. Can I go again? Thank you, Mayor. You know, in this day and age of individuals stepping out and jumping out ahead of, of many folks, it's really nice to see what teamwork is all about here in Nutley. And I, each and every one of you need to be commended on the level of dedication and hard work that you put in. And you know what? The efforts on behalf of, of your coaches came through loud and clear. Your District 8 champions, that's not because of any accident. It's because of all your hard work and dedication. I couldn't be prouder of each and every one of you and of all your coaches. Congratulations, and keep up the good work. Rogers. Well, like my colleagues, I, I certainly commend you for commitment and dedication and character. And you know what's going through my mind? I'm, I'm looking at some of you, and I, I know some of you, and, and I'm remembering that some of you started as, as young men, uh, in some cases uh, some young women, who started, whether it be baseball or any sports program, with the recreation department. Uh, and I, I mentioned to a few people this past week that we have extraordinary recreation programs in town that I think are unlike anywhere in this state. Uh, and they start with the little, little peewees, you know? They, they, you know, they're out there with these tee balls and they're starting to learn how to uh, uh, play ball and what teamwork is all about and character building. So, Commissioner Tucci, if I may, I, I want to congratulate you on, 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 you know, helping form lives and create lives that are really becoming champions that we could be so proud of. So I salute all of you and thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, guys, I, I say this to all the young men who come here. I want you to look at the person next to you that's sitting there. You went through a whole summer of playing together, you know, missing some, probably some vacation time, you know, your parents giving up time to be with you and your coaches. That person next to you, 30 years from now, is going to still be your friend because of what you went through on that field. Uh, it's it's an exciting time as a young man, but you make friendships that last a lifetime. And uh, that's what sports are all about. It's learning, you know, to be friends, to play as a team, and learning some of the leadership qualities that will take you into adulthood. So congratulations. Uh, I'm sure Commissioner Tucci wants to get you up here for a picture. Absolutely, man. All right. So come on up, guys. All right. Come on up.
Give you guys a couple of seconds to make your way out. Madam Clerk, you let me know when you're ready for bills. Yes, I'm, I'm ready. We ready, Mayor? Yes. Okay, bill is for Tuesday, November 1st, 2016. Oh. Public Affairs, $113,698.52. Revenue and Finance, $7,628,983.97. Public Safety, $25,744.99. Public Works, $132,821.02. Parks and Public Property, $716,594.15. Total Payroll, $785,791.64. For a grand total of $9,403,634.29. Motion, please. Move the bills. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That's it for bills, Mayor. Public comment on uh, agenda items only, Madam Clerk? Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks to the board and its individual members must be addressed to the mayor. The mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate members of the board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the board shall be allowed unless the mayor, or presiding officer, or the majority of the membership of the board shall determine that the interests of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Penny Landry, 135 Lakeside Drive. Uh, agenda item communications correspondence relating to the presentation in the back room by Joseph Hannon, Rent Leveling Board Attorney, and James Kuchka, Rent Leveling Board Chairman, uh, regarding proposed changes to the Rent Leveling Ordinance. Um, I have a question. What is the total number of apartment complexes that fall under the Rent Leveling Board? I don't have that information, Ms. Landry. We'll get that for you. You can get that for me? Thank you. And do we have ordinances or a board, I guess since they don't fall under the board, that regulate apartment buildings with three or less rental units? I don't believe so. We do not have any ordinances that regulate buildings that have three or under They have ordinances, but that's not under the uh, rent leveling board. And do you know how many different buildings have three or less rental units in them in the town? I do not. You do not? Have, where would I get that information? I don't know if we have that information. You don't know how many buildings in Nutley have three? But I don't know if we have that information. Okay. Do you, can you give me some direction as to where I might find that? I don't know where you could find that you don't know where I could find it okay and um, and a final question about the apartments how many apartment 
Units that fall under the rent leveling board are designated as Section 8 or uh, affordable housing. I don't know if we have that information, Ms. Lane. We don't have that information. But I don't know if we have that. Would the rent leveling board have that information? Okay. They may. Um, so I could go to their meeting. Do they have public comment at their meetings? Because some of our boards do not. Uh, no. You do not know? Is that your answer, sir? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, regarding number 267-16, um, exception of payment, um, Commissioner Evans said that 72 Stanley Avenue was now owned by the state of New Jersey and would no longer be paying taxes. Is this Section 8 housing? No, it's not. And what does the state intend to do with 72 Stanley Ave for which it is paying no taxes? They haven't advised us. They bought it from the town? Nope, they bought it from the private owner. The state of New Jersey bought 72 Ave from a private property owner and was granted tax exemption and we don't know what they're using the house for? The state itself is exempt from taxation, so by virtue of the fact it's owned as state property, they're automatically exempt. Whatever they want to use it for is not subject to taxation under state law. So they could make it into a rental and they wouldn't have to pay taxes on it? Generally, the, the history is they intend to turn them over, right? But it's just it's something that was uh, they purchased. But again, I have not had a conversation with them specifically about what they intend to do with this particular piece of property, just that once they purchase it, it is automatically by statute exempt from tax. Okay, thank you. Um, number 270-116, a change order for Inglesino, Webster, and Taylor. Um, is that an additional $94,000 being added to their contract or a reduction? Mayor, could you please clarify? Are we in the public comment section? Where are we? This is an agenda public item. Comment on agenda items only. So I'm just, I'm just, is this within the category of what we're doing? Just to help me understand yeah. that's all. Yeah, it's happy an agenda item. Happy to answer, I just need to clarify. So question again, please. Authorize award change order for Webster, how do you say their middle? Inglesino, Webster, and Wiscala. Wiscala and Taylor for $94,000 for Special Development Council services. Now, I know we previously have awarded yes. this firm monies for Roche redevelopment. My question is, is this an additional $94,000 given that it is called a change order? Yes, it's additional services that were rendered related to the transaction to uh, close uh, the uh, phase one medical school piece of that, all of which those costs, those, those you'll see in there that it's a trust account, not an operating account. So those monies are in trust, which they are paid for by the redeveloper, not by the township. So it's not, it's not affecting our municipal budget. Okay, so you, but what portion of the services of Inglesino Webster were paid for by the taxpayers? Uh, they were uh, substantially all reimbursed. I don't have a number. Okay. But substantially Could you get that for me if I called your office? I, uh, Alan, would you be able to get it? Yes, we'll be able to get it. Okay. And should I call which one of you? Um, just contact the clerk. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yours isn't working? Oh, darn. Yeah, in song, but apparently that's not going to work tonight. But uh, just the, the number is a moving number. It's not, a, it's not a hard number because in that 94 is money to take, take us to the end of the year, not necessarily what's been already billed. So there's been a lot of money billed and paid, some outstanding, some for the future. To the end. All of it is being paid by the developers now. So, um, and so it's a moving number. If I give you a number today, it might be wrong because well, but I'll give you, it just said change order, and I know that we've had several. Um, all it does is give us authorization. Authorization to, to, pay to them. add. That's, that's as, all it as is. As Commissioner right. Evans said, it was cost related to closing phase one. This is all the Roach redevelopment uh, phase one, so and also actually, 
so actually what you're saying, it's in a trust that PRISM or the LLC actually has money in this trust that we're yeah, pulling out word, of it? The word trust could be overused, but it, it's, in a, it's in a separate account used specifically for the development. It's replenished by the developer when it starts to run low. All this does is authorize us to pay them. We have to have a mechanism to pay them, even though the money's coming from Okay. To be able to do that. That's all. I was just wondering why the developer didn't. I, I can me. give you what was been reimbursed. Okay. But I don't, have it, I don't have it with me. Okay. Thank you so much. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners on agenda items only? Seeing none, I'm going to move to uh, Board of Commissioner announcements. Anybody have any announcements? Um, I have one announcement, one short announcement, and I think it's, it's timely in light of the fact that our town attorney is using a handheld mic. Uh, we expect to go out to bid by the next meeting for a new sound system for these chambers. Thank you, Commissioner. That's all I have, Mayor. Commissioner, when we do that, could we also, um, because at the plan, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, ordinance introductions. Ordinance number 3349, ordinance to amend. Ordinance 3103 of the Code of the Township of Benelli entitled Solid Waste Recycling, and more specifically, Chapter 614, Article 1, Recycling. I move this ordinance be passed to a second reading, advertised in the Nutley Sun, together with the notice required by law, and that further consideration of said ordinance for final passage by the Board of Commissioners to be held at its second reading on December 6, 2016. I move the ordinance. Second. second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. We also have a public hearing on ordinance number 3350, an ordinance to amend an ordinance codified in the code of the Township of Nutley, chapter 228, entitled Vehicles and Traffic, particularly Article 7, Special Zones and Areas, Section 29A, entitled Handicap Parking, to add the location set forth therein. I'm uh, going to open the public hearing. Anybody like to be heard on ordinance number 3350? Being done, I uh, move to close the public hearing. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? I move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Resolutions. Commissioner Rogers? Resolution number 25616, proclamation proclaim, I'm sorry, resolution proclaiming November as Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month as, uh, as written, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Resolution number 25716, proclaiming November as National Diabetes Awareness Month, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. <laughs> Resolution number 25816, proclaiming November as Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Yes. Whereas Township Nutley Ordinance 665-22, Preservation of Trees, states that tree removal permits must be obtained for a cost of $50 per tree, three trees totaling $150. And whereas Township of Nutley Department of Parks and Recreation authorizes a refund for each tree permit submitted upon the planting of a new tree on said property, Retra replacement tree sizes and species must be approved in advance by the Township Forester. And whereas funds are available from account C-01904-905, now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that the Township Treasurer is authorized to refund tree permit fee collected as per the Shade Tree Preservation Ordinance for permit number 14-823 to Elena Dimova, three trees at $50 per tree for a total amount of $150 at 55 Yale Street. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that in accordance with the provision RS 40A 4-58, the following transfer of appropriations in the 16 budget be and here are same or hereby authorized and approved. From other insurance, an, an amount of $36,000 to buildings, uh, other expenses for $21,000, parks, other expenses for $2,000, shade tree O&E for $5,000, debris removal for $3,000, transportation O&E for $5,000, totaling the like amount of $36,000. I move the resolution. Second. 
Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas Township of Nutley entered into a contract with Viridian Environmental Consultants, Upper Montclair, New Jersey, for envi environmental services via Resolution 122-16, and whereas the Director of Parks and Public Property has recommended the following change order from said contract. Change order number one for environmental services, and this is relative to tank removal and cleanup in the amount of $6,177.52. The money is available from Capital Ordinance 3323E and has been certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certified attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that change order number one in the amount of 61, 77, and 52 be and is hereby approved. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas the Township of Nutley issued resolution number 221.16 on September 20, 2016, stipulating a bid opening date of November 10, 2016, at 3 p.m. prevailing time for the Park Avenue cellular antenna installation, and whereas the Township of Nutley desires to extend the bid opening date to November 30, 2016, at 3 p.m. prevailing time, now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Township Clerk is hereby authorized to advertise for sealed bids for the Park Avenue Avenue cellular antenna installation in the Township of Nutley to be received on behalf of the Board of Commissioners in the Commission Chambers Township Hall, 1 Kennedy Drive, Nutley, New Jersey, on Wednesday, November 30, 2016, at 3 p.m. prevailing time, at which time they will be open and read. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas the Township of Nutley has a need for analog copper phone lines for existing alarm systems and departmental fax lines, and whereas NJSA 40A colon 11-5F permits the award of contract without bidding for the supply of any services, which is a public utility subject to the jurisdiction of the BPU, and whereas the proposal from Princeton Hosted Solutions 700 Goodwin Avenue, Midland Park, New Jersey, will result in a substantial savings and improved quality and is recommended by the Township's Office of Information T Technology for $1,000. $1,998 per month for a total contract amount of $47,952 beginning July 1, 2016 through June 30, 2018, whereas funds are available from account 6-01510-237 in the amount of $11,988 and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certification, certification being attached to this resolution. Account number 7-0151237 in the amount of 23976 subject to the adoption of the 2017 municipal budget, and also account 8-0151237 in the amount of 11988 subject to the, the adoption of the 2018 municipal budget. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nutley County, of Essex State of New Jersey, that the Mayor and Township Clerk be and are hereby authorized to enter into a contract with Princeton Hosted Solutions for the provision of analog phone lines throughout the township of Nutley. I move the resolution. Thank you. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That's all I have, Mayor. Commissioner Evans? Thank you. Uh, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners. Uh, the uh, following transfers of appropriations pursuant to 40A 4 uh, 58 in the 2016 budget from uh, municipal election ONE 14,000, unemployment comp 2000. Tax assessor salary and wage twenty thousand for a total of thirty six thousand. Two clerk's office O and E fourteen thousand DCRP uh, for two thousand and the tax assessor's O and E for two thousand for a total of thirty six thousand. So move. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Uh, the, the next resolution uh, two sixty six dash sixteen. The tax collector of the municipality has previously issued tax sales certificates. Uh, for block 6702 lot 1 and 6702 lot 2. Uh, certificates are included in the resolution. Um, the, whereas the purchaser of the asset for said for certificates has indicated they have lost or otherwise misplaced their original tax sale certificate. Now therefore be resolved that the tax collector of the municipality be and is hereby authorized uh, upon receipt of the appropriately executed and notarized loss affidavit and the payment of a fee of $100 per certificate to issue appropriate duplicate tax sale certificates to said purchaser covering the, the certificate lost as previously described in accordance with requirements of Chapter 99, Public Laws 1997. 
be further resolved that a copy of this resolution and the loss affidavit be attached to the duplicate tax, uh, tax uh, certificate to be issued to said purchaser and that said duplicate certificates shall be stamped or otherwise imprinted upon with the word duplicate so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Uh, whereas the property known as Block 2702, Lot 372, Stanley Avenue, has been acquired by the New Jersey Housing and Mortgage Finance Agency pursuant to NJSA 55 colon 14K-34 and NJSA 54 colon 3.3 A, B, and F, said property owned by an agency of the state of New Jersey being used uh, for a public purpose is therefore tax exempt, whereas NJSA 55 uh, 14K34A provides that all properties of the agency is public property devoted to an essential public service and governmental function and purpose and shall be exempt from all taxes and special assessments of the state. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley uh, that New Jersey Housing and Mortgage Finance Agency be granted full exemption from payment of property taxes from January 1, 2017 and all subsequent years thereafter on block 2702, lot three, known as 72 Stanley Avenue, so move. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners that the Treasurer is, is hereby authorized to refund overpayments of $463.32 for block 2702, lot 31, so move. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners that the Treasurer B and she is hereby authorized to refund overpayment of property taxes of $14,300.30 uh, arising from tax court judgments for Block 7202, uh, Lot 4. So move. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas Inglesino, Webster, Wiscala, and Taylor. 600 Parsippany Road, Suite 204, Parsippany, New Jersey, has been awarded a non-fair and open contract as a professional service pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 1944A 20.4 and 20.5 as appropriate for the Special Development Council on August 2nd, 2016, Resolution 201-16. Whereas the Township has entered into a contract with Inglesino, Webster, Wiscala, and Taylor for a contract amount of $150,000, whereas such services have exceeded the original contract amount in the amount of $94,069.46, bringing the contract total to $244,069.46, uh, uh, giving rise to change order number one, Special Development Council for $94,069.46, whereas funds are available in account 601-226205 in the amount of $18,000 and from account T1590917 uh, in the amount of 76,069.46 and has been certified by the Chief Financial Officer said certification being attached to this resolution. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners uh, that change order one is a change from a contract previously made by the Township with Ingles, you know, Webster, Wiscala, and Taylor, and are hereby authorized and approved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas the Township of Nully has a need to acquire professional services to assist with uh, real estate 2016 uh, added assessments, whereas Hendricks appraisal is particularly suited to provide such services. The contract is an amount of $33,750, whereas funds are available in account 601-204-200, as, as evidenced by the Chief Financial Officer attached here too, whereas the local public contracts law, NJSA 48 colon 11-1 requires that notice with respect to contracts where professional services are awarded without competitive bid must be publicly advertised and whereas and now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township that a contract be awarded to Hendricks Appraisal Company, LLC, 7 Hutton Ave, West Orange, New Jersey, be it further resolved that this contract is awarded without competitive bidding as a professional service in accordance with colon 1151A of the local public contracts law because the contract is for service performed 
by a person authorized by law to practice a recognized profession and be further resolved that a copy of this as well as the contract itself be placed on file with the municipal clerk of the township in at once in an early sun in accordance with public second mr rogers aye mr tucci aye mr evans aye mayor scarpelli aye Uh, the next two ordinance, uh, the next two resolutions are uh, Commissioner Petraco's resolutions. Whereas NJSA 40A 4-87 provides that the Director of Division of Local Government Services may approve the insertion of any special item in the budget of any county or municipality when such item shall have been made available by law and the amount thereof was not determined at the time of the adoption of the budget. And whereas said Director may also approve the insertion of any item of appropriation for an equal amount. Section 1. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley, County of Essex, New Jersey, hereby requests the Director of Division of Local Government Services to approve the insertion of an item of revenue in the budget for the year 2016 in the amount of $6,113.90, which item is now available as a revenue from the Body Armor Replacement Fund grant pursuant to the provisions of the statute. Section 2. Be it further resolved that a like sum of $6,113.90. B, and the same is hereby appropriated under the caption of general appropriations, operations excluded from the 5% cap, body armor replacement fund grant, other expenses, $6,113.90. Be it further resolved, the township clerk forward two certified copies of this resolution to the director of local government services with the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex, New Jersey, that in accordance with the provision of RS 40A 4 58, that the following transfers of appropriation in the 2016 budget be and the same are hereby authorized and approved from municipal, municipal court operating expenses $9,000 to public defender salary wages $9,000. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. The next three resolutions are my, my own. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township Nutley in the County of Essex State of New Jersey that the Township Treasurer B and she is hereby authorized to refund $600 to Damiano Carino, 491 Harrison Street, Nutley, New Jersey, for a refund of payment made to the Department of Public Works. And move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas bids for the reconstruction of Conover Avenue, Union Avenue, to St. Mary's Place were received and opened on October 7, 2015. Whereas AJM Contractors 300 Color Road, Clifton, New Jersey, was a low bidder. Whereas the Township of Nutley entered into a contract with AJM Contractors for a base bid in the amount of $187,595.02 and altered bid number one in the amount of $12,250 for a total bid amount of $199,845.02. Whereas change order number one has been authorized for a decrease in the amount of $32,253.22 to ordinance number 3295A for a total contract price of $167,591.80. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that change order number one as attached is a change from the contract previously made by the Township of Nutley with AJM contracts for the project known as the reconstruction of Conover Avenue, Union Avenue, the same Mary's Place, and is hereby authorized and approved. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that Jonathan Bruno be appointed the public de defender for the Township of Nutley, effective October 3rd, 2016, and expiring October 3rd, 2017. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That concludes the business portion of our meeting. Time for public comment. May, uh, Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concern should approach the microphone, provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The, the Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the Board shall be allowed unless the Mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the Board shall determine that the interests of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Anybody like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Mayor Scarpelli, 133 High Street, Michael Odria. 
Maya Scarpelli, the last time I was uh, standing in front of this microphone, you made a request of me. You said, I'd like to see your 1999 property taxes bill. So what happened was, I know I have them in my house somewhere, I couldn't exactly find them. So I went to a town hall last Thursday, made an, went to the tax assessor office before one o'clock. He couldn't give them to me, so I had to make an Oprah. So I did an Oprah, so I'm supposed to get them by Thursday. But what I did was, I did find my 2003 property tax bill. And my 2003 property tax bill is actually $5,180. My property tax bill, my newest, my latest one is $11,943.28. And since, here's my question, since um, Thomas Evans is the director of finance, please ask him percentage-wise, from the numbers I've given, how much higher are my property taxes are from 2003 to 2016. Again, the numbers are $5,180 January 31st, 2003. And this year, it's $11,943.28. Percentage-wise, please ask him how much higher it is. Sir, Michael, I think you could figure that out yourself. You don't need a commissioner. Evans to do that. So you can't do it? I think you could do it yourself. Do you want to do it, Mr. Evans? Can you give me an answer? I just want to, I just want you to answer the question. I just want to know if you have any um, comments about how high it is. So you don't want to answer the question. I mean, if you need a calculator, buddy, I have one right here. <laughs> oh, pocket. I have one right here. The question is, is that... Well, you're the finance... Now, what I assume you want to point out... To, to... Over a... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, but yes, it has. And you don't want to give me the answer percentage-wise what it is? Put a calculator right there. Do it. All right. Well, I'll do it for you. That's 130.6% higher. It's 130.6% higher, my property taxes, since 2003. Now, as of 2003, my home was 70 years old. And in 70 years of the life of my home, my house, my house's yearly property taxes was $5,180. Now, uh, 13 years later, it, it just went up so dramatically. And I know you, the only reason why I'm asking you the question is because you're director of finance. If Tucci was director of finance, I'll be addressing it to him. The question is very brief. Taxes went up. My had some very high level. 50. Obviously, your tax. Question is, what portion of your what portion of your tax what portion of your tax increase? Property when the town valued and those reassessments were applied in 2000. What factors it can, such as the change in the cost of tipping fees related to federal law changes? How much of the cost increases that subsequent bonding associated? How much of those for a whole list of things? Absorb into this. My taxes have just gone. Here is your taxes. This board, together, collectively, works very hard. Applied by the caps, is have yet to do 
two percent levy. Very diligent about saying. You don't comment then on that at all. What you say simply is, "I live in town and my taxes got up." I would be happy to answer your question. I would ask you though to be specific about a particular part of your. All three of them, county, municipal, and the school. You, I encourage you to go to the county elders meeting, discuss with them why their taxes are going up. I encourage you to go to the school board meetings and ask them why their taxes uh, have gone up. Certainly, make I will tell you that the basic cost of service, health care, pension, and cost removal, as well as environmental factors, as well as the implications associated with the revalue. A range of increases that have impacted taxpayers differently. You're, in your case, you have had probably in probably 2006 of that all from looking at your up $3,000 <coughs> Related to a change in the are open to, as every citizen is in, to appeal it before the Essex County Tax Board. And I have, and they threw it back in my, they just said no. They agreed with the township. So there's a fairness piece that says, do along with everybody else. Which was how the revaluation opted to begin with. You exercised your right as a taxpayer and a citizen to go before so that then you're complying with what you need. Our job here is to continue to find ways we will manage our commitment to you and everybody in town that we are relentless. There are implications associated with that that says fundamentally there are, are questions that I think broadly to the residents what type of town want this to be the commissioners talk all the time collectively as a board not just department heads but collectively as a board thinking about that says historically how do we look at the history of our town what brought us to this point, stage of our lifestyle? What we're going to do, protect that history, and two, advance the life cycle of that history. There is so much that is bundled by your question that simply says my taxes went up 130%. That's why I'm confused. Because to answer your question, it's a very complex question, and I'd be happy to address what the municipal piece of that is, but I encourage you and every resident in town to go before the county, to go before the school board, and ask them why those cost, their, their school board costs cost as much as they do. Well, what I suggest is this. Um, first of all, it seems like there's no end to these property taxes going up. And the other thing is, if we want to control the school system and not overburden it, we should obviously not build more apartments in this town because, like I said before, I came to this town because, this is what I, my opinion, you guys, you, you uh, the board here should Michael, work me. hard to keep the town small. Just keep town because you, you bring more people here, they're going to overburden the schools, then my school taxes go up, right. and I don't even have a kid in the school. Michael, I appreciate, <laughs> it. I don't either, I don't either, right? Uh, and cap and control and reduce, that's it. I don't have children in the school system. My children are all over. They're 23 to 34 years old. I have a grandson. But I do know that the value of our school system is important to maintain the value of our town. Okay, that, that's a good point, but uh, uh, what's uh, the uh, point of that if, you're, if, if you can't afford to finish. live here well, anymore? Michael, Michael, let, me let the commissioner speak. Let me finish. Sorry. Right? There is nothing within our constitutional uh, of this country, of this town, that suggests that we can prevent somebody from occupying a residence simply because they have children and they may not, they may add children to our school system. The burden on our town 
is more related to the fact is that we have single family homes, two family homes, which are empty nester homes where those people are now reaching a point where they say, I want to change my lifestyle, and they're turning that home over to a young family. Are you suggesting that those homeowners cannot sell their, their home to a young family? Well, from the homeowners I speak, spoken to, the reason why they're getting out of town is because they just can't afford it anymore. They're just getting to the burden, the water tax, the, the property tax. People don't want to leave Nutley. I don't want to leave Nutley. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I want to live here, but that's I don't right. want to be taxed to the point where I'm going to be in poverty as a middle, I'm barely hanging on to middle class. What's going on is the middle class in this town and in this county, but more in this town, is being taxed into poverty. And they have to get out. You know, people don't want to leave. I mean, people that I speak to that moved out, they don't want to leave. They, Michael, I want they can afford know, it. I want you to know, I fully appreciate the fact that people are being pressured and burdened, right, because of the fees and costs, taxes, whatever services, are, excise taxes, property taxes, whatever you want to name. People, income taxes, they're overburdened with that. I agree with you. Right. I, and I think there's not a member of this board that wouldn't agree that it, we have to find a way to figure out a way to do things in such a way that manages that tax burden. Your point has been heard. It's been heard many times. Fundamentally, some of the things that affect your property tax bill right, are significantly challenging in order to be, create a substantial change in your tax bill. A million dollar reduction in spending affects your tax bill, $25 a quarter. Is your life improved by $25 a quarter? I would say maybe, maybe you get a free dinner. But the fact is, in order to change the dynamic, right, the wholesale change of what you are suggesting about your taxes to in effect suggest that we could roll back taxes from 2016 on your property, $11,900 a year, to where they were pre-revaluation to $5,000. In order to reduce your taxes by that amount, we've got to reduce the tax levy by almost $60 million. A levy was about $109 million. The significance of that is extraordinary. Well, respectfully, Michael, bottom line Michael, is this, the, Michael, the reason why it went Michael, up is because you guys allowed it. Michael, I know there's other things you got rules. Michael, this is not a debate. You, you, uh, you made your point. You have, your time is up. It's time for somebody else to come up to All the right. mic. I'll still bring you the 1999 one when the, the clerk's office gives me my Oprah. Yeah. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners? Annie Landry, 135 Lakeside Drive. Uh, I'd just like to add to Commissioner Evans to the 2% cap. Uh, since I've owned my home every year, an ordinance or a resolution has been passed to exceed the cap. Um, so we have actually maybe stayed within what is allowable under the cap. But there are many, many things that the law states that um, can be over 2%, which if I go back for the six years that I've owned my home, uh, every year an ordinance has been passed to exceed the 2% to allow for those exceptions. And I don't need an answer to that. I would just like to point that out. Um, my issue here in public comment is in July 2016, Clifton Councilman Colides something was quoted in NorthJersey.com as saying that the bulk of residential development <clears throat> will occur on Nutley portion of the Roche site and that Clifton will only <clears throat> consider residential if it doesn't impact schools, police, et cetera, uh, for Clifton residents. Um, I called PRISM today because at their presentation that they did here, they said that they would have a website for the Nutley citizens to give input and that they would um, also be doing some town hall meetings for input, which to your point, um, Commissioner Evans, about that the issues of taxation could be addressed asking the townspeople what they were willing to give up a little bit or where they were willing to. However, in the six years I've been here, I have not been invited to a town hall meeting bus taxes, and I just respectfully ask that you do, and that maybe we could tie it into one of the Roche town hall meetings 
uh, that their representative said they would be getting back with me uh, about the address for the website for citizens, but um, as well as um, you know for the um, dates of these public forums. So I guess the question is, do we have a citizen or a person liaison with PRISM that um, is in charge of communications or a PR person or something uh, at the township level who can act as the point of contact for the Rochery development? Well, I don't understand your question, Ms. Landry. Could you do we have someone who is the designated person who is communicating with the LLC under PRISM to communicate what is going on to the citizens of Nutley? Well, when they get to that point, I'm sure they're going to offer that up to the citizens of Nutley, and the point of contact will probably be, as it, as it has been all along, Mr. Genetempo. Okay, great. So I should just direct things to Mr. Genetempo. Um, and I have a request attached to that. <clears throat> I attend a lot of planning board meetings because I'm concerned about the future planning of our town. Last year, our chairman, Mr. McGovern, uh, was absent, absent or excused for 40 to 50 percent of the meetings. Um, I have that exact number at home. I forgot to write it down. This year so far, Chairman McGovern has missed 50% of the planning board meeting. Now, I was unable to locate anywhere in the code if there was a criteria for members attending meetings once they are appointed by the mayor. In the event that there is something that's hidden in the code, I was unable to locate. Um, if Chairman McGovern is not going to be able to chair the planning board meetings, which are critical right now, especially in light of Roche and changes that are being made and new developments being added. I would like for you to respectfully consider a person, um, you as the appointee, or maybe in when he is Mr. McGovern is excused. There is someone here who's actually in this room who has shown really a great desire to want to serve the township of Nutley, and I would respectfully ask that you consider as maybe co-chair or as interim chair for the planning board, um, John Kelly III. Thank you, Ms. Lynch. I'll take that under advisement. Thank you. Anyone else? Moore, 462 Chestnut Street. Mr. Scarpelli, after the last meeting, I had spoke to you briefly outside. I thought that Mr. Rogers' behavior last time was reprehensible. Challenged anyone to appear or saying, could we do a better job? And I spoke to you and I expected to, to at least have enough time to address that issue. But if you, you, you know, Mr. Moore, I, I, after I spoke to you, I reviewed. That you were going to look at him. And, I didn't take it the same way you took it. Well, I did. I think, Mr. I think uh, and I'm not going to speak for the commissioner, but I think he challenged people to, to find another town that works the, as well as ours, though. And I think that's what he said. And I think you may have taken it the wrong way. To, to say something, the, close, the fear of death is only second to public speaking. When somebody has to come up here and address the commissioners, especially in a... In a a, a, claim, a complaint mode, taxes are too high, whatever. That's devastating to a lot of people. They're afraid. So you should at least great opportunity for the board to understand. People come here. It's not adversarial. They're addressing you because somewhere along the line, the process below it didn't work. And I'll give you an example. You have a three-minute rule for agenda items, but yet downstairs when you first come in different sets of agendas. You have one for the newspapers and one for the public. I can understand that printing because of trees. I'm, I'm into that. But you should have at least provide the public the same information that the newspapers receive. If I'm going to stand here for three minutes, and I have to formulate a question in less than 30 minutes, I should at least be able to see the documents. You know, if you want to look at the, t the billables, the payables that you guys um, authorized. I have to look down to this on the board 
and make a determination that I have a few minutes to review. Last meeting, Mr. Evans cited the Moody's, which I eventually got two days after the fact. He also cited the best practices. I got a copy two days after the fact. But when you read the papers, and I, I hear how great this was, Moody's was based on $124,000 a year average income for Nutley. Nationwide it was 58, and the state of New Jersey was 85. If the 85 was applied to this, the numbers would have changed. Rating would have changed. It's the taxpayers that earn a lot of money that help you to do this. If your best practices, speaking to the gentleman, mandated by law, not because you guys came up with a really good idea. All your health benefits, the township website, how things are paid for contractors are by law. They're not done because you guys are doing a great job. And I think it was very reprehensible to challenge everybody to do a better job or find a better There is. Under LOSAP, under the volunteer... Direct your remarks to the mayor, please. That's the protocol. Thank you. Under the volunteer firemen, Paul Cofone has... By law, LOSAP, Length of Service Award Programs, has decided he wasn't going to pay the firemen the full amount of money. Why? Well, that is absolutely 100 percent, excuse me, that is 100 percent untrue. And I've been in the meetings regarding the LOSAP, and you are 100 percent wrong. Then you should tell I don't know where you're getting that. your information from, but you're wrong. You, you should tell the firemen that because they were told that they're not getting the full amount. Now, that's mandated. By Mr. Law. Caffo Chief Caffone has been working with the volunteers to develop an easier way for them to earn the credits to get the LOSAP payments, not the other way around. It's and by you're, law. You're mis no, it isn't by law. Yes, it is. Mr. Moore, please. Would you like please. to see the program? I know what the law is on this issue. I've studied okay. it and I've read it, and you're 100% wrong. So don't mischaracterize what Chief Caffone is doing. Then, please. Then you could say emphatically tonight that all of the volunteer firemen are going to receive the full amount for the LOSAP. According to state law. That's an emphatic. No, I do. Or it's set up by ordinance, and it's set up by our ordinance. Each town has its own separate ordinance to qualify for LOSAP. The volunteers did not keep their records clear enough to enable themselves to get paid. Chief Cofone had nothing to do with it. So get your facts straight. I'll be happy to explain it to you. Be, be my guest. But be not in this emphatic. public forum. All right, be emphatic that right now the volunteer firemen are going to receive. Great, and I can understand that. And we're also potential litigation because Mr. Cofone hired a relative, which is why he asked for an Oprah, which he received. And there is a potential litigation for that. So don't tell everybody up here you're doing this bang up job. This is really great that you're doing it. And everything that you're doing is mandated by law. You should at least, at least be honest enough to say that when somebody gets up here because his taxes went up, He's concerned. Yes, it's, it's the mayor. And when you look at this document, it's very clear that the citizens of Nutley work very hard and very diligently to make a lot of money so you guys can tax it. You should at least be diligent and allow people to stand here and explain that to you. They might not be happy with your service. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners? Carmine Alessio, 81 East Center Street. Uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago I was here. Um, I was speaking with Mr. Rogers and he was talking about pest control and uh, animal cruelty. Okay, so I, I watched what, you know, un unraveled on the cable TV again and um, totally into the climax of what, you know, he was saying and what I was going to reciprocate in saying, um, TV went boom, shut off, right at the main punchline during the climax, as I just said. So the following day, I went down to the Parks Department on uh, Marl Tucci, Commissioner, his advice, if you have any questions, go down to the Parks Department, which I did. So I went down there and I spoke to Mr. DeMeo. 
And he, we had a nice little conversation. Uh, he, he looked into it, and he got it straightened out to where the film uh, completely went through. The matinee one during the morning was, was good. The one in the evening went boom, and it cut off at the same spot a couple times. So it, it managed to work for a day or so, then... A day later, boom, it went out. I went down to the parks department three times. So um, without me being interrupted now, at the end of my five minutes, if you have any questions or any answers to give me, I'd appreciate it. Um, in reference to uh, Commissioner Tucci, number 263-16, the uh, microphone system, the video system going to be included with that? That's, that's one of my questions. But um, what I mainly came here to, to address was um, the, the animals that um, were undermining my garage and being infested with mosquitoes and uh, living next door to an empty lot, which happens to be 75 East Center Street and the Cafones own it. Um, it's an empty lot. It's on the, 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 down at the tax assessor, listed as an empty lot, but yet it's being rented out um, as a, a, a transit station for uh, different contractors going in and out of here and parking their vehicles. Very high volume, very maxed out with trailers all over the place. Okay, so I took it upon myself in my opinion, okay, this um, activity uh, violates C55 colon 19-82, um, determination of a property as, as a nuisance. And it also violates C period 55 colon 19-92, uh, deem prima Fassi, evidence that the owner has failed to take action to further the revitalization of the property. Uh, in a sense, that means that um, when he purchased the property, um, he didn't submit a site plan. It's being used as uh, seasonal use, and it's open 24 hours a day, where people from the park come all hours of the night and use it for a parking municipal-type lot. And this is going on right next door to me, along with all of the, the um, um, vernum that's there and, and going onto my property and being a nuisance to me. Um, at that, there's included in that, if you were to research the law, um, dumping of grass, um, leaving it for, for a long period of time, stench, and everything else that goes along with being a nuisance, that's what that place is. Um, the Nutley Code of F Officers do not enforce C, period, 55, colon, 19-92, because the owner seems to be of special interest. Um, then the New Jersey, well, NJSA, uh, statute 55 colon 19 dash that's five minutes 78 there. well thank you so much i'll have to come back next week and finish it wrap, i'm almost done wrap it up mr alessio what i wish that i would have done was come here because i think i used three minutes with mr uh, tucci's um with the um talking about the uh the video part when, in a sense, I really wanted to do this, but that's okay. I can come back um, next week and talk about it because for two weeks now, nobody has given me a call or did anything, took anything upon himself as far as the town of Nutley to worry about these um, pests that I keep on getting and, you know, um, going in and out of my property. But at that, I'll come back next week and finish this. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Alessio. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Seeing none. 
Make a motion that we adjourn, Mayor. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Good night, everybody. And the time is 9 10.